Hey guys, welcome back to Elan App. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Valorant Q is disabled. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So in this case, you might be wondering how do you actually fix this Valorant Q issue? Well, in this case, this issue does not have a formal fix that you could actually do, but there's a few things here that you could check and possibly do to f probably fix this issue. So one of those things is you first have to check if the servers for Valorant is actually up and running. In this case, I would suggest you to visit the following website, which is first is going to be Down Detector. Now on the Down Detector website here actually allows you to see if a lot of users is encountering the same issue. Now if there is going to be uh, an issue right now on their servers, you should be able to see a huge spike here, meaning that you're not the only one that is having issues right now on Valorant. Now typically if there are any server issues for Valorant, this would actually automatically solve itself. So you just need to wait for them to actually solve that issue and from then on, see if that actually solves the issue. Now another website that you can actually probably visit here is going to be status.riotgames.com. In this case, in their website, what we need to do is we need to visit the Valorant page here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, you need to choose your region. Now in this case, they have the following regions here. Go ahead and uh, click on it and see if there are any issues. And again, if there are any issues, just wait for them to actually fix it. And you should be able to access or you should be able to use or start playing again in Valorant. Now, if this doesn't work, well, there's a few things that you could try doing here. So one of those things is you might want to uh, first restart and open up your Valorant over and over again. Sometimes repeating, the, repeatedly opening your Valorant here could probably solve your issue. Uh, some users actually suggested that and it worked for them. So you could go ahead and try that. Now, another method that you could do here or probably do is you need to go to your settings at the top right here. Click on settings and from here, choose Valorant and from here, click on repair. In this case, it's going to automatically check if you have the correct files and see if you have the updated files. In this case, once you've clicked on it, go ahead and launch Valorant and see if that solves the issue. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to Yelan app. Thank you for watching.